it's Karen from Lion Gate Farm, and today I am going to teach you how to make this cute little puppy. It's, it's a little bit past a beginner class, but you'll enjoy it. Okay, so today we're going to make this cute little poochie dog. Um, little dog. I'm going to make a, a cinnamon colored one. So let's talk about what you need. Um, he's not very big total. I mean, he is not big. You can see it. So it might be a little challenging because we're going to use a little wire armature in here. He is posable. It is a simple armature though. It's nothing fancy like twisting together. So um, you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need probably a pen tool. I have my trusty 38 star spiral and a 38 star sitting here. You're going to need three pieces of wire. One nine, nine to 10 inches long, that's the body. And then two seven inch pieces for the legs. And, I'll, and then you need a skewer for my handy dandy secret armature method. Um, and then you'll need some core wool. You don't need a ton. Um, your body color. I, I brought this in case I want to use it to access, access, accent. First video of the year and I can't even speak. Okay, I got a little bit of black. I can make a red collar, a little bit of white. So just a couple colors, you don't need a lot. This is just a quarter ounce ball. And we're aiming for an armature. So, what else did I, did I get everything? I do have a little template that I will post into the Lion Gate Farm Facebook page. You know how I post those. You print them off on an eight and a half by 11 inch paper and it should give you everything you need. So the first thing we're gonna make is this. This is the body piece, okay? So you need your ruler. You're gonna need that nine to 10 inch piece. And I start at the back of the body. You're gonna want about a one and a half inch tail. Just make a little bend and then about three and a quarter, maybe three and a half inches for this for the main body. And the neck is one inch. This project's a little bit harder, you guys. And then you're going, well, you got too much extra here. Well, I do, because I'm gonna bend it back. So one and a half inch for his nose. Just make a little pinch. I'm using an 18 gauge wire you can use a 16 gauge. Um, this is pretty flimsy. So there we have this little head piece there. It's about an inch and a half, about one inch, three and a quarter to three and a half, one and a half. Now you can adjust this, you know, if you wanna make like a beagle or something. You know, you need it for or shorter legs. So I'm going to put these two leg pieces aside. So here's what we're building towards right now. This is what we're going to do. Um, we want to build up all. This is all the core that we're going to use right here. If you see my dog pacing around, which he is pacing around, he had a little surgery because the little stinker went and ate a whole bunch of wool. So he had to have it removed and he has, he had surgery and he's on drugs <laughs> and he's kind of pacing around. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want, and notice I am not using any sticky stuff. If you want to use some beeswax, um, tacky wrap or something, but I'm just wrapping this wire. So remember we're going to, Look at that, it came undone. So we're just gonna, I wanna get a basic wrap on the body. He thinks he's hungry, the dog does, but he has to have this soft food right now. And they, they gave me this prescription diet. Let me tell you, he is not a fan. He is not a fan whatsoever. So I got something different this afternoon and he kind of had some already. All right. So I got that little spot wrapped. Don't you hate when your pets are sick? 
So now I'm going to take probably a 10 inch piece. It's thin. And I'm just going to, I'm going to make a little hot dog and I'm going to stretch it out the length of the body. There we go. And then I'm going to wrap that on. Rippy, you need to lay down, buddy. It's been a week. It's been a couple of weeks. A couple good weeks here. It's all about the dogs. I have my dad's dog. That's why we're making dogs. I have my dad's little Westie here, who unfortunately has the same name as our cat. <laughs> which can be very confusing at times. And he's not the most trained Westie out there. He's he's four. And he has the manners of a two-month-old. So I think that my dad wanted him here for a while so I could train him secretly. He's learned a whole bunch of new skills while he's been here. You know, how to sit down when you take off his leash and whatnot. And then we have a Marema in a crate where she's happy, which is amazing, who's in heat. And she's only nine months old. Trini is not ready to make puppies yet. And we put her out in Fort Knox and she busted out. So she's been hanging out in the house with me and Rip. And then Rip got sick and it's like, oh my gosh, it's the dog circus. Not used to having that many animals in the house. Especially when one of them is not well. All right, so I think my nose is a little bit long, so I'm gonna bend it back. Somehow I got a little bit long. You just kinda gotta eyeball this. You saw I just wrapped up his head. Basically, we're just wrapping that wire. It's going to look like a giraffe before it looks like anything. Or a dinosaur. You can use this form to make a lot of different animals. A lot of different animals. I mean, it could be a cat. It could be a sheep. It could be anything. So, now... We want to build up his little head like a cone. We're going for a cone shape here, right at the neck. Let's just build up his little head. And like I said, I'm using an 18 gauge wire. It's pretty flimsy and you'll feel things twist. So make sure if you're using an 18 gauge, because this is a little guy, he doesn't warrant a 16 gauge to me, but because he'll stand up. And he'll still be poseable. So we want a little cone head right here. Sometimes you just got to wing it. It's a good idea when you're doing any kind of animal um, to print out a picture. You kind of have it in front of you. So you know, and like even take, if you print it out, you can even take a marker and draw, like this is a triangle, this is a rectangle, you know, so you know what kind of shapes you're aiming for. Now this is a cone shape triangle, you know, and then look at it from the top. It's going to be a cone shape triangle. You will have what they call a stop. I'm gonna get some more fiber on that in just a second. And see, this is not firm enough yet. This guy is pretty firm. We'll get there in a minute.
You don't want your dog to get too bulky, the dog body here. So I don't know if you've been out to my farm store lately online. There is a new glitter pack. There's only six left. Um, and there will only ever be six. So it's kind of a fun little glitter pack if you're looking to add some sparkles. So now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tighten this up. Now that I have a basic shape, and now I want to start firming up that body. Let's tighten it up some more. Hope everybody had good holidays. You can see by my needle and the way it's going in and the sound of it that it's getting tighter. I want this decently firm before I add the leg wires. You gotta take your time. Right now it looks like a duck. You do want to make sure that that neck stays about an inch. Don't worry, we're going to add more for the chest once we get the leg wires in. All right, so we have this in. Doesn't really look like a dog, does it? All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our skewer, and your dog leg is going to be, from the base of the neck, it's going to be about right there. I want you to stick your skewer through, and then... Oops, follow it through with the leg wire. This is the cheat way to do an armature. Bend it in half. I, I was working on one of these and one came out. Okay, so the back one is about in about an inch, I think. No, three quarters. About three quarters, but make it even, Steven, with the front one. Pull it through. Good thing I had an extra wire there. All right, so we got our two little wires in. Now, you know your dog is not that tall, right? So his legs are gonna end up about two and a half inches. Take your ruler. This takes a little bit of finagling. All right, I want these to be the same. And this little wire, I don't know if you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to bend it. That's going to be his little foot that we're going to put fiber over. Just his little foot there. All right, so we got one leg there. And now this, I want you to make just a little curve. Take your thumb, make a little bit of a curve. And then dogs have a hawk like this. So from the bottom, it's about one inch. It's about one inch. This is where it gets tricky. You want this to be the same. And you're gonna test it out a little bit. Let's see, are you guys the same? Cause these are gonna end up here. And these are gonna end up here. So kind of make sure he's level we can always adjust that when we get down to the feet but that's pretty close so you have this going here so just like this should end up looking like that so now you can see we're close in our shape we're gonna build up that body a little bit more and i want you to just use little pieces little pieces let's start in the front I go around the leg and up. And let's build up that little elbow. Stabbed it in and you can do it again. 
Make sure your legs stay the same. So just be careful when you're stabbing in here that you've got wire in here now. So basically what we're doing is securing, first we're going to secure these wires. Rippy, lay down. Lay down. He's thinking about it. You can see we're going to have a chest right there on this little guy. See, I already bent out of shape back here. So let's get that secured. Again, I'm using little pieces. You know, and there's lots of tutorials out there, and I'm sure different than this one. <laughs> this is just the way I do it. There might be easier ways. Let's see, we're going to have a haunch here. And you know, don't worry if your, your leg wire gets a little bit out of whack because we can always pull it. You can pull them to the right length. This is just getting us a little bit more solid. Okay. So how much I want you to build it up. Let's work on those back legs first. So we want little muscles here, these little muscles. So you can't, I don't want you to go all the way down because we want our legs to stay fairly, uh, fairly skinny at the bottom. So I just added a little, I built it up a little at a time. a little at a time. It's easier to solidify if you have just a bit at a time. And we're going to make his little butt that should naturally form with the way we're adding the fiber in. Needs a little, I'm going to make a little pillow. This is our core wool, so we don't have to. Like I said, pictures are your friends. Look at how your own dog's constructed if you have a dog. You notice I'm felting from the back towards the front because that's going to solidify the inside. So there we have one little leg done. So let's build up this little elbow just a little bit more. Wrap it a couple times around, come back up. You can see how it's starting to form the, the base of the leg. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. See how this leg got a little shorter? Just pull it till it's the right length. As long as you maintain the evenness, you're going to be good. Now, I didn't have enough fiber there, but I'm going to use that and just add it. This is a, li this is a little bit more than a beginner project, but a beginner could do this. It's a beginner armature project. I'm 
Now you can see this guy doesn't really have a lot of chest right there. So let's just make a little pillow. Just a nice thin little pillow. And let's add it in. Maybe your dog doesn't have a chest, but most of them have a little chest that sticks out here. Now you're going to just start looking at this, like start looking at it. It's like, okay, what do I have going on here? I've got two legs, I have a chest. So I'm going to poke this right here until it's all nice and smooth. And I kind of look at the neck to see how, if it's proportioned. If it's not, scrunch it down a little. You know, I'm a self-taught needle felting artist, mostly. I've taken a few guided video classes. I took one in-person class ever, and that was not really great. Just because it was at a sewing expo, and sewing people don't know about felting, right? But I was hooked. Basically, I just poke it until I get it right. So you saw I wrapped a little bit around his muzzle because there was a piece of wire close to the surface right there. And I need room at the end of his nose to put in his mouth and his nose. So that's why I'm adding to the end of this nose. You guys should, as you're doing this, you should, as you're watching the video, you should comment what the name, what kind of dog you have and what their name is. Cannon and I are trying to figure out how to do a giveaway right now. So if you like the page and comment, You know, follow our YouTube because that does help us out a lot. We're trying to figure it out. If we figure it out, we'll do a random giveaway on today's video. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just working in all the fiber I added. He still looks like a dinosaur. Let's get this back leg done. Again, use small bits, small pieces to wrap. Wrap. And wrap it. If you wrap, remember the tighter you wrap, the less you have to poke. Especially hard to poke on legs and stuff. I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you that not everything is perfect, like a perfect kit or a perfect, have a perfect formula for wrapping. Sometimes you just gotta do it until it looks like, no, what happened there? Okay. Just kind of do it till it looks right. So back here, I'm gonna make a little pillow on the back of his leg, on this side. And then I'm, this is another way to do it. And then you can just wrap that on. 
kind of figure eight-ish. There really are no rules. That's probably what I like the most. No rules. It's been a busy weekend. We went and got straw this morning because it snowed yesterday, which means I was down to one bale of straw. I like to keep my barn dry for the ladies. We're going to shear on the 20th. Maybe we'll bring you a shearing video. My friend Jared is my sheep shearer because I can no longer do it since I broke my neck. And he's coming down to shear all my sheep. Maybe we'll make a video of that and share that with you. Maybe I should say, I only promise to share that video if we don't get any bad comments. Because <laughs> it's really good for the sheep for them to get sheared. And it doesn't hurt them to be sheared in January because they have a nice warm barn. And we leave half, at least a half an inch on them. Which has lanolin, which keeps them warm. Because the lanolin makes them waterproof. I don't know if you guys knew that. Alright, so it's starting to look like a dog, except for his head. So, I want to work on his head a little bit with you. So, dogs have what's called a stop right here. And their muzzles are actually kind of square. Well, at least the dog that we're doing here. They're actually kind of square. So, let me show you. So, we're square. And see how firm this is felted. We're still a triangle. But we're square here square here, square here. You still have your triangle there. So what we want to do is start really getting some felting on here. So I'm going to try and give him a stop by felting back a little bit. I need to compact this. And I think you saw me before I, I start looking at this. Okay, I want a triangle here. I start poking it flat. Because we want this flat. This is the bottom of his head. So, and again, I'm poking it back towards. You can see with just that little bit that I just did, it's already starting to form. Let me go on this side. Scrunch that up a little bit. So they also have a cheek here, and we'll add that in a second. I just want to get this nice and firm. So I'm stabbing pretty heavy duty. You can hear it starting to firm up. I don't normally felt this hard, but when you want details, and the dog face has details, we have to get it firm enough. And I suggest that you have this on your pad while you're felting. It's just that I can't look down that long. So I have it up towards my hand. So be very, very careful if you're doing it the same way I'm doing it. But as you can see, I'm starting to round this out. So what we're going to do now, we have to build up this little face. We have little cheeks there. So let's put a little bit, it's little, little pillow right here we want one on the other side we want him at the same spot just need to build up the side of his head so from here we're going to start using our we're going to start using our color, our body color. 
because we don't. I'm still poking down here because I'm still not as tight as I would like it. You can see how it's compacting pretty, pretty easily here. This is just a whimsical little puppy, but if you're really good at making making realistic, I want to see them. I should post pictures of them for me. So I'm going to start by just wrapping a little bit around his head. Let's just get this color on. And we're going to use this color to start to sculpt. Now, if you don't want him to look fuzzy, you're going to have to poke him a lot. I'm using um, cinnamon stuff. This is a carded Maori wool. So it comes as a bat. It, it's a sliver, and the, none of the fibers are lined up. It felt really, really well. So I know I need some right there because I can still see core wool, but I need more up here to make the stop of his head. I haven't used this color on a dog yet, so we'll see what it comes out like. Cinnamon. Eat cinnamon. It's a good color. And I'm going to just do the whole front of his face. So remember what I said about him being flat. It's flat here. You know, it's probably getting harder to see now that I'm adding the color. Remember, I have, neat, I have that wire right there. My wire is pretty close to the surface. I'm kind of wishing I would have bent it back more. But we'll deal. Just little bits till your core wool is totally covered. If you build it up too much, he'll have a really big muzzle, like a mastiff. The Maori wool is a little bit slipperier than the Corydale Sliver, so it takes a little bit more to felt it. Remember, we want this triangle up, triangle shape here. And see, we're getting there. Okay, now let's take a decent sized piece and we're going to cover, remember those cheeks? Let's add a little bit more. 
is the hardest part of the whole dog, you guys. <laughs> Getting the head shape right. You can see that it's starting to form. And remember square, we want square. Put this piece on this side, build up this little cheek. I'm going to throw a wrench in here for you in just a second. So I want, I want a little bit of white on his muzzle. So I'm going to take some of these white fibers. So what I'm doing is this right here. And I am going to want this right here. And it's okay if it goes down under here. Because you, you want it to kind of blend in. That's why I didn't take a lot. But right now it looks like a cow. So you could, if you wanted. So I'm, I'm trying to visualize this triangle here. This is flat. So I'm going to stab it a little bit more right to there. You can see we're getting very square and firm. That's the bottom. And now I'm going to start thinking about, okay, his eye is going to be right there in a line with the nose. The other eye is going to go right there. Can see it happening. Take your time. So I stab in the eye holes. And then I'm going to Okay, it looks like Rip got a snack. Like John gave Rip a snack. Dog is getting spoiled rotten right now. Oh my goodness. So I added some more to the back of his head. All right, so you should be able to start seeing this dog head take shape. So you have a little cheekies. So I'm going to use, I'm going to switch to this for just a minute and get this all smoothed out. Normally I save the face for last, but we're doing it first this time because it's the hardest. all smoothed out. So we've got our little eyeballs. Let's find my where'd my black go? There's my black. Alright, so first I'm gonna take some white and I wad it up. This is a white paint. I'm using some Polworth here. Polworth is a breed of sheep that makes beautiful white fiber. 
and it felt great. It's soft and it just felt right in. The fiber the staple's a little bit longer, but I like how white it is. So I am just giving him a little eyeball here. On one side, the whites of his eye. Let's poke this one in. That is way too much. Okay, so don't make the mistake of having way too much. Remember, it's way better to add a little bit at a time. I know it must be a broken record by now. Just add a little. You can always add more, but you can't take away very well. So I have some stray white fibers over here. So your eyeball, the center of your eyeball is going to be there and there. You might be able to add a drawing of that to my little paper that I scan in for you. Okay, so we have eyeballs. Now let's start with some, just a little piece of fiber here. We're going to put on a nose. This, and notice I didn't do a shape. I'm just using wild fibers here. I'm going across the top in a straight line, gathering it up. I did not use a lot of fiber. Coming back. I'm just going back and forth in a line. And then I'm going to start thinking about, okay, his mouth is here. There is my wire in my way. Dog noses are kind of like a T. The nostril right there and right there. You want very little fiber down here where you come down for the mouth. Now you're not going all the way down because he has a chin here. We're gonna go right to the outside of that. I make it smile, make a smile, make a smile. I will fill that in with black here. Remember I got a wire to work with. Hopefully your wire is shorter than mine. You're just gonna have to work right on the surface there. Kind of keep keep the same distance for the smile. And then we're gonna take little white fibers and or little black fibers and fill that in. And when I say little, I mean you look, you can't even see what I've got in my hand. Just a tiny little bit. Use very little. Make sure you catch them all. The devil's in the details. Do your little, just do bits. Bits look so much better than for your little lines. I drop that one. So even though I have a wire here, I'm making it work because I'm stabbing it very, very shallow. Remember I added a little bit. So you can work around those wires unless it's poking all the way out. Come up on the side here. Now, I don't have enough white on this side. So I'm gonna take a little bit and add it to fill that in. It's just shading. You know what, maybe he didn't have a lot of white. No, he needs more. My fantasy dog needs more here on his nose.
You can have it come up behind his nose. You don't even have to have the white here. I just like it. And I will probably trim that off with some scissors. I have a little extra from his eye. Told you this was a little bit harder project. Take your time with this face. Because no matter how wonky your body is, people look at the face first. So for the eyeballs, you're just going to take a little bit of black. Kind of roll it in a ball. I just stab it right in the middle. We're making a pupil. And then we'll put in the other one. That's not enough. Kind of looks like it is, but it is not. Need just a little bit more. Remember, there's no right way, but I'm winging it here for you. All right, so now we have a dog that has eyes with no eyelids. So let's give him some eyelids. You're just going to take two little pieces of your body color. And I stab a line and then fold it over. I hope I'm still in the frame, Cannon. Fold it over so they can see what I'm doing. Yes. I had to have a, a video check there. So I have these two little pieces. And the reason I stab the line and fold it over is to kind of give us like a clean line here. And then hold it gently between your fingers and catch those. And then we're just going to put it over his eye. Place it over his eye. Don't stab in the eye. We're just stabbing on the sides and in the back. That also helps to build up the top of his head. Let's add the other one. Now, I think he needs a little bit more on the top of his head. So I'm going to take a little teeny piece of this cinnamon color. And I'm going to roll it. And I'm going to place it right there. Between his eyes. Build this up. Let this hang back here. And let's put some ears on him. You can see that that built up the stop a lot. And we, we've got the eyes, got that. So our next order of business is some ears. We're going to need two little piles. These are about inch, three quarters of an inch. Now I want his, his ears to have a little bit of black on the tips. So I'm just adding some black fibers down here, not very much. And now I'm going to trace an ear. It's kind of like a rough triangle. And I'm going to fold it over. And yeah, the black's going to disappear a little bit. Just, it's just going to be shading. So I need another triangle. I'll give you a measurement. They're about an inch right now. And again, fold it over. Yes, the black's going to disappear. It's just adding some dark in there. Notice I'm not doing too much stabbing at the top yet. Flip it over. Stab them back. Some of that black's going to come through. over. See how our black is coming through? 
It's good. Keep flipping them back and forth until you have a nice piece of felted fabric. Don't want hairy ears. Well, you might want hairy ears. Depends on what, you're, what kind of dog you're going for. I got a little thread there. Again, it's going to depend on what kind of wool you're using. If you're using a Corydale sliver or this kind of, this, this Maori Bergshaft sliver, um, it will felt up very nice. If you're using Merino, it's going to take you a bit. Just keep poking. It'll eventually get there. I just keep pulling the outside hairs in, the outside fuzzies in. Okay, so now we've got a little ear going on here. And your dog ear, you're gonna pinch this. Just pinch that just a little. Give it some stabs. We're gonna add it on right behind, it should be should up, end up like right next to the eyeball. See how cute that looks with a little black in it. So let's take the other side. Let's give it its little pinch right here. So see when you pinch it, it does that. And then we're going to add that. Right here. Ooh, I like this guy. He's cute. See, by now your dog is getting some personality. Let's stab all that in. Look at that. He's got a white tail. <laughs> this can be up a little higher, the crown of his head. So you're getting that peak of his head right there. His ears come to the back of his head. Told you this is a long video. All right, that's just his head. So now let's do some legs. All right, so we got this little head done. So now we're gonna move to the legs. So sometimes it's a good idea to move all the other legs out of the way. And I've got a little piece of cinnamon here and I'm just gonna start wrapping. I think um, it's best if you secure it a little bit up here and little, little, you want skinny legs. All right, so we're at the foot. I go over the foot twice, I come back up. We're gonna finish the foot in a minute. As you can see, well, no, twist it, wait a minute. I got too fat, don't want it fat. All right, I'm just going up the leg. All right, now remember, you wanna make sure they stay the same length. Okay, let's, let's stab this in. Get this all poked in. I know you're wondering about that foot. So the cinnamon stuff I'm using here is not a roving. So it's a little bit more difficult. I'm just gonna wrap it. I'm just gonna wrap his little foot. Make sure you go past the end of that wire. Be very careful. You're gonna put that foot down and stab it. Just get it stepped on. These aren't the perfect feet, but they're cute. So he's got a little foot. And you wanna make sure you wanna get all these fuzzies in. shouldn't have to really stab the leg too much. And then we have just this little foot on here. So now we're gonna go to the next one. Let's get the next one. You know, normally I give you guys, a, okay, I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do all four of them with you today. Remember, keep it flat. Don't let it twist. Going down. 
because we made that little loop, it's easy to wrap the foot. I got a little bit hairy there. I'm going to wrap it. Nope, I don't like how that looks. I want to keep all of it down on the foot. Like that. I'm going to go around twice. Now I'm going to go back up. But I might have gotten a little bit thick. Let's see. No, it looks good. If you can get a couple stabs in there to secure that. So I ran out of fiber. I'm going to have to add. So one thing you can do is twist this little to what you need. I'm going to start here because I broke. So I'm adding. Oh, oh, got a lumpy leg. Hold on. Let's fix that. This is why you guys like watching me because it's real. It's not perfect every time. So, got a lumpy leg because I added. So I'm gonna twist it back and forth until it's even. And then I'm gonna stab sideways. So I get it even. Hope my hands are not in the way there. You can just kind of work it until it's not lumpy anymore. Sometimes twisting fiber around wire is tricky. Okay, we have two legs. Need to. If you want to make your paws a little bit fatter than this, you can. I like them just like this. This whimsical little guy. Same thing on the back legs. Exactly. Except remember back here, I didn't. Now I'm going to check this. Let's see. We want. So here I have a point on my wire. And you know, if you just wrap that, it's gonna stick out. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna work this stuff so it's a little bit more roving-like. I'm gonna secure it. Then I'm gonna wrap very thinly. down to the end. Let's see if I can show you this. It's going to be a tiny bend back. All right, I'm at the end. I'm going to bend it back just a tiny bit because I wrapped past that curve. I've still got it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I've still got that the bend there. Now I'm going to make his paw. I may have to add a little more fiber back here because I don't have a loop. So I went around twice. Stab, stab, stab. Let's get it. And it's okay if your foot straightens out while you are wrapping. Because it'll come back. Now that fit, that foot is way too skinny for me. So I'll show you what to do with it in a minute here. Let's get this all smooth. All right, so skinny little foot. Let's just add a little right on the foot. When you're stabbing this close to your fingers, be very careful. 
You know, they make finger grips. I don't like them because I can't feel my fiber. And I, I, I need to feel my fiber. There we go. Now he's got a nice back foot. All right, one more foot to go. And then we're just onto the body, which is the easy part. He's starting to look like a dog. I'm gonna secure it. Sometimes I forget. Let's move that leg out of the way. Skinny, 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 skinny. And, okay, because we know we're gonna fold that, I'm gonna straighten it out. I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny fold. It's like less than a quarter of an inch just to get rid of that wire end. All right, so we know this is his foot. So let's make his foot right now fatter. And then we're gonna go back up. We may have to add a little fiber to that bend. We're going up. secure this. doesn't look like a leg right now, does it? Okay, here. Yeah, this foot needs a little bit more. Right here. I'm never afraid to add fiber unless it's super skinny. Might add some more to that. And you guys know I'm a power wax addict. But I wouldn't really recommend putting power wax on his paws um, to solidify them because dogs don't have hard looking paws. You could, if you wanted to smooth out the fibers, you can take a little like hair gel, believe it or not. Um, I've been known to use hair gel because not super heavy hair gel, like the light kind. And you can smooth it on there. It'll smooth the fibers down and then it dries soft. You don't want the kind that dries like shellac. But hair gel works. I learned that from a puppet maker to use some hair gel. All right, here we go. You can see his little butt's forming here. The way we did this. So now we're just gonna cover his body. You may want to give him more chest at this point. So let's put it this way. It's totally up to your discretion. as usual. Now I think this guy needs a little floof of white on his chest. So I'm going to add that in a minute. So we're just going to cover this all up. And because you took a little time and sculpted in, you know, some basic little muscles here as we were to core wool, as you cover it, you should be able to define them a little bit more. Now, most dogs, if they are the right weight, 
have a narrow waist right here compared to their chest. So the chest ends up lower than this spot. Most dogs. If they're super hairy, you can't usually see that. You can see it on Rip right now because his belly is shaved. <laughs> but then he sat down and I realized his belly sat down on the floor, which means he's probably <laughs> overweight a little bit. You can see he's starting to take shape. He's going to get all sculpted in. But because you worked on the body for a while, it should be nice and firm. And this should just take on the shape of the core wool that's underneath. So this piece, I'm going to add this way. You can see I'm adding decent size fluff. And, and that's what this cinnamon is. It's more fluff than it is roving because it comes as a bat now remember we have this tail wire we're going to wrap i do that very last i'm still being conscious of the shape of the dog as i am stabbing this in starting to define everything. Now let's cover what well, we got this little belly to do under here too. But I think I'm going to do that in white. I think I'm going to give him some white belly. I see a spot that's not covered. Add to that. If you think one side has better muscles than the other, then you might have to add some. Like this is not that well defined on this side, so I might have to add a little fiber. At least to the front, but we'll see here in a minute. more right there to build that up. This is where you get a chance just to add a little bit at a time to get him exactly the right shape. like we did on the other side we're going to add this down to his hock there you can see he's pretty little i haven't even come close to using a quarter of an ounce of top coat on him and this is his little butt Okay, I've been covering him up. Um, turn the camera off for a second, but we're back. So I've been just working the fiber in, covering him up. Um, you can see you have a nice little rear end going on here. I'm gonna get all these fibers caught up. Now we're gonna add his tail. And periodically check and make sure if he stands up okay and he does you'll you'll rearrange his feet 
Okay, so now I want a little white tip on the end. So what I'm gonna do, just like I showed you on the feet, I'm actually gonna start way down here and just kind of wrap it up. I'm gonna cover this whole thing except for the tip. I want the very tip to be white. And this time I'm not gonna bend that wire. I'm just gonna leave it, come back, because it's the end of his tail. It's the very end of his tail. There shouldn't be no wire sticking out ever. It shouldn't. I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but it shouldn't. And then I'm going to cover that up till I get just to the tip. I'm gonna leave just the tip white like that. Come back down. You want the tail, the base of the tail fatter, unless you've got a super skinny tailed dog. Let's tear that off. this in. This is a good place to use your little hair gel again, if you wanted to use hair gel. I don't think on a dog you want it. Whoops, I've got this extra. Okay, so here he is in all of his... I want him to have a white belly and He's already got a little bit of white going on. So I'm gonna take some of this pull with, remember I said it's a long staple. You can see, I can't, I just have to relax my hands. It's about a four inch staple. And I'm gonna take this and just tack it like that. And then bring it down like this. This I'm gonna leave a little floofy. That's not gonna be felted in hard. He's got a little white chest. Let's bring it all the way back. This guy's gonna have a little white belly. How fun is that? You can go down the inside of his back legs if you want, but you don't have to do a white belly. That's just what I wanted to do. So I gave him a little white belly, but now he's missing one thing. He's missing his collar. Let's give him a red collar. You can use a piece of ribbon. You can use a little tiny piece of leather strap and glue it, or you can just take a tiny piece of roving. And wrap it around. It's not gonna end up this fat. Just wrap it around. And now we're gonna stab it this way. We're going to stab from the sides to the thickness that you want. Just get his little collar on. I got a little piece of fuzz right there that needs poked in. So you get a little red collar. And this is our little dog for the day. You may have, like I said, you may have to touch up his feet. Just a little bit here and there. Do the little hair gel. All little touch ups that, you know, you can take your time with. I'm going to bring some of this white up here. You can make a polka dotted dog, spotted dog. Make them look like your dog. If I made them look like my dogs, most of my dogs look like white polar bears. Oh, there you go. Got a little white tail. Right. 
a little curve in there, and he's all done. Do you know me? I can never stop poking. Let's work in this white chest a little bit. Okay. And that is our little puppy for the day. Thanks for joining me today while we made this little puppy. Um, post any problems you had. Post pictures of them on the Lion Gate Farm Facebook page. I want to see them on the group. Put them on the group. And then um, come back and join us next week. Make sure you click like, share, follow. Really helps us out.